Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Microsoft GDAP relationships for our Microsoft 365 Cloud Inspectors in LionGuard. To get started, we're going to log in to the Microsoft Partner Center for your MSP account. Uh, please also note that you do need to be logged in to a user that is part of the admin agents group to perform these steps. Once you're logged in, to get started, we're going to go to this customer style right here. Go ahead and click there. Uh, the first screen you'll see here is your customer list, and this will be all of the current customers which are set up with GDAP relationships uh, currently in your um, MSP's account. Now, I'm going to be showing you the step of how to add an additional uh, customer of yours to this list if they're not appearing and how to set up the GDAP relationships for that customer. But please note that you do also need to go confirm that the current relationships that you have here have the correct uh, GDAP relationships that are needed. And what that means is when you see the next steps that I'm about to perform is you could go back into these current relationships and go confirm if they have uh, the correct relationship. And if not, you can perform these same steps for each customer. But to move forward, I'm going to show you how to add a, a customer which is not appearing in your list. In order to do so, let's click on this administer on the left-hand side. Once you're here, we're going, to click, we're going to click the request admin relationship up top. So again, this is a relationship that you're requesting uh, for one of your customer tenants. So I'm going to go ahead and demo that now. And my customer is named LG Tap. So go ahead. I, I'd recommend giving a naming convention for these relationships, which includes the customer name, because uh, it, it's going to be more manageable in the future steps when you start applying these and managing them. Now, the maximum duration we can do is two years. So I'm going to do 730 days. The next step is we have to assign the roles that we want uh, for this relationship. And this is so that our inspector, the Microsoft 365 inspector, can work correctly. So go ahead and click in here. And uh, we'll move through this list and we'll apply, we'll apply the following five roles. First, we're going to need the, um, the cloud application administrator. Then we're going to need directory writers. Then we will need um, global reader. We'll need security reader. And then we'll need reports reader. Once we have these five roles, we'll hit save and you can confirm they show up here. I'm gonna go ahead and click auto extend. Uh, this is so that it will automatically extend this after this duration runs out uh, and just be a little bit easier for you. This is, this is your choice though. Once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit finalize request. Give this a minute. Now this next page is going to give us a link which we need to um, provide for that end customer so that they can accept this relationship which you've just um, set up. Now, for the most part, you're probably already going to have the admin credentials for your customer's tenant, so you can perform this step for them. But do note that somebody has to have the global admin credentials for that customer and log into the Microsoft account in order to finish this step. You can email this over to them, uh, or you can just copy this to the clipboard and, per and, and perform it for them. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So in this scenario, I am the MSP. I have access to my customer's tenant, and I'm gonna do this step for them. So I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna move over into my uh, customer tenant's account. So I'll go to this window, and I'm gonna drop that link right here where I'm logged in as a global admin of that customer. So right here, this is the screen that they'll see on the other end. Uh, it's, it's just notifying that this relationship is being uh, requested. These are the roles that are being requested. We hit this and we'll say approve all. And there's just a little pop up here. We'll hit yes. Perfect, and that's everything we'll need to do there. So let's move back to your uh, partner center for your MSP. Once you've done that, we're gonna hit done. Okay. Now that, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to go apply this relationship for that, uh, for that customer. So let's go ahead and click into it. Hit finish. 
Let's go into that admin relationship, which is right here. So the new one you created, I'll click into that. And we need to add a security group to it. So let's go ahead and hit add security groups. And we need to hit the admin agents security group right there. We'll hit next. Uh, select all the roles, hit save. Kind of give that a minute. And I think if I refresh my screen here, it should move to an active. There we go. Maybe give it one more time. There we go. Might just take a few seconds. So that's, that's the last step for how you create this relationship. And so you're going to perform the same steps for the other customers uh, that, that you manage. So you either meet, you need to send the invite to add them to your, to your customer list, or if they're already there, you can drill into that customer list and you can go ahead and create a new relationship for them. Uh, excuse me, didn't mean to click there. Uh, you, you can go ahead and manage that customer by um, creating a new relationship, a GDAP relationship for them. All right. So for the next step, uh, we'll move into the next video. I'll show you how to go into LionGuard and then go set up the parent Microsoft 365 inspector and how to uh, sign in and authenticate with the inspector. Thank you. We'll see you there.